Hey friends, hey guys, and happy Monday for you. It is your Monday. Um, I look a little rough because I am starting to get sick, so yay for that. Also, I had a girls' night out on Saturday, and I have not fully recovered from that either, so, you know, have things working against me, but I do want to have a chit chat with you guys. Um, for the month of April, I've really been focusing on autism content, which I know you guys have noticed, and a lot of you are new here, so welcome, friends, and a lot of you are here to see Ella's progress and our autism life. When I started this channel, it's almost been a year. We're almost to 40,000 subscribers, which is just bananas. 40,000 friends. You guys are my friends. You're our family. When I first started this channel, I kind of, I just did like a Q&A kind of thing. Like I never really had a direction. I still don't really have a direction, but I did talk a lot about weight loss because I had been super successful with the ketogenic diet. Um, I had lost 70 pounds in a very short amount of time. And overall, my... I was on a weight loss journey and I've always been on a weight loss journey. If you guys are also new here, you not know, new here, you know that. I mean, I have been obese, large my entire life and I've always been on a mission to lose weight. Always! Yay, love that for me. <laughs> I haven't really talked much about at all actually about weight loss this month. Um, it just wasn't my main focus to put content out there for weight loss this month. I've put a lot of keto stuff out there in the universe. To kind of, this is hard, honestly. I didn't think it would be this hard to talk about. To be honest with you guys, like, um, Graham, if you guys are still new here, <laughs> hi. Um, I did have a, a large amount of weight that I have lost on my own. I've lost over 100 pounds on my own. I can now say it's like about 90 because of the weight gain and the loss and the gain and the loss. Um, I have lost weight on my own through a ketogenic diet and through working out and I've just the last two years I have I've lost weight and I've been successful I have also gained weight and lost it and gained and lost and gained so I mean I have really had an up and down journey especially after Graham passed away in June all of a sudden and then John's uncle shortly followed and right after him our very very close friend Shane passed away so we had three deaths in three months and um, John's biological father also passed away last year so we had four people that impacted this emotional eating spiral and um, it's been honestly really hard for us to rally for longer than a week or a month uh, for a long time and that's just the truth I mean I love that I encourage you and motivate you and I have all the tools in my arsenal of things to lose weight because I know how to I've done it and I've been successful with it. And I know people who are successful with it, like Amanda from Keto Ginger. She's been amazing. And some people can lose weight and not have things trigger them to gain it back and all those things. But it's something I truly do struggle with. On that note, last week I went to a bariatric surgery meeting. Something I never in a million years thought I would do. Um, I actually have a clip from the day of the surgery meeting. So I will go ahead and roll that now. For you guys um i want you guys to see it and then i'll explain a little bit hey friends today is monday april 22nd so i am heading this is not going to be like a big documentary style of asa priscilla version of whatever i think this might be um but to give you a little backstory, because I don't know for sure if it's happening. If it's not happening, and I go to this meeting today, I will put this in the vlog for this week. So, hi. Surprise! Um, that meeting I'm going to, the meeting that I am attending today, is a meeting for bariatric surgery. Something I thought I would never, ever do. Ever. Um, I, my best friend in the whole world, Val, she had it done, I think, a year ago now. Um, obviously, you guys know Priscilla had it done. She looks amazing. And then... It's not just them that inspired me. Obviously, they inspire me. Obviously, they're they're gorgeous, and it's been really great for them. Um, I ran into a old friend of mine's mom at the Dollar General like a week ago. I didn't recognize her, not even a little bit. And like, she said my name, and I'm like looking at her, like I don't. She's like, it's me. I'm like, holy crap. And we were talking, and I was like, she had VSG, the bariatric surgery, and I was like, oh man, you know, I have looked into it. I really have several times. And the whole thought of going under and all that kind of stuff scares me and it's always held me back. And then I called, not that long ago, my insurance to see if they covered bariatrics. And it was really weird, they said no. <laughs> but I, she gave me the center that um, she went through. 
and I just called on a whim. Literally, I was driving to pick up Ella from school. I called her on a whim, and um, I was like, hey, uh, how do I do this? And they're like, well, what kind of insurance do you have? And sure enough, they say they take my insurance. And then, before I knew it, I was uh, signed up to go to this meeting today. So this is either the first step in this process or this is just a meeting to see and get some details and see if it is for me or not. I'm so on the fence about it because I have lost weight on my own. But you guys, to be quite honest with you, I'm really tired of fighting food all the time. I'm really tired of gaining and losing weight. And I'm really, really tired of fighting myself constantly with food. So I just want to go and learn about it a little bit. It's not a yes thing. It's not a no thing. It's not a anything at this point but you know I'm gonna go learn about it so this is day one of perhaps maybe possibly a bariatric surgery journey more than likely not but we'll see we'll see so just thought I would document how I'm feeling scared AF there we go see you soon what I was going into this surgery meeting as of like a I don't really care um, if it's meant to be, God will let it happen and my insurance will cover the whole thing and it'll just, everything will fall into place if I'm meant to do it. I have literally done the whole bariatric surgery research thing for like years and years and then when I lost all the weight by myself, I kind of was like, oh, good for you. You're good, sis. <laughs> I do want to preface this by saying I am not getting bariatric surgery. I am not. And literally the only reason I am not is because my insurance is a full, full exclusion of bariatrics. They cover not a single cent. And I am not going to pay out of pocket for this procedure at all. So uh, I would like to say that like I'm relieved or that that's good. I was so upset. I was so upset. I was very upset. Um, I don't know why because like this is something that I um, Totally was not like against but like just didn't see for myself I've watched several people in my life have super super raging great success on weight loss surgery and are living their best life and um, I was I was upset mostly because I'm sick of fighting Food I'm sick of fighting to lose weight all the time. I'm sick of having to think of everything that I eat every day and to not get it twisted. Weight loss surgery is not the easy way out at all. Like at all, at all, not even a little bit. It's a lot of work to get there, to go through the process, to live a whole different life after the process. So I do not by any means think that it is the easy way out when it comes to weight loss at all. Um, I just think it's a really, really great resource and tool for people who've been fighting food their whole life, like myself. Um, when I got the call that they said that I was fully excluded, I was like, okay. And it kind of felt like, oh man, like I really did like, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I'm tired of thinking about food all the time. But I did kind of have like after a few days and I'm like, this really friggin' sucks. Um, damn, like I really wish I had this tool for myself. I uh, stacked up, <laughs> I pulled up my big girl pants and I was like, you know what? Like. Obviously, it's not meant to happen for me right now. doesn't mean it won't be a future thing. Um, but I have tools that I can use until f the future um, if I can't manage to rein in all of this in the meantime. I, I can maybe look to it in the future. Um, but I was upset, and I it is definitely something I looked into. And... Um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a weight loss, weight loss, weight gain, whatever update. I have lost about six pounds in the last mm, month, two months. Um, that is with a 10 pound weight gain in between. So I lost 10, lost six. So it's like, I, I am gaining and losing weight pretty regularly and it's annoying. <laughs> and I know it's annoying and I, it's annoying for me. And I kind of feel lost in this whole weight loss journey. So this isn't me asking you guys to make me feel better. Uh, this isn't you guys really even asking for different ways of eating or saying I'm not going to eat a certain way or I am or I am going to get surgery or I'm not. I am not going to be getting bariatric surgery at this time, but I definitely don't think it's something that I would be totally against in the future or for people in general. I think I have a really good perspective on like the life it can give people. I am feeling like I'm okay and like 
I'm on a downward trend again, but like how long will it last? And that is not a good mindset. And that's why I'm like, I'm being negative about it. And I know that's not really helping me do anything productive. So I just wanted to give you guys the update. Like I did go to a bariatric surgery meeting. I am not receiving it. I am still low carb and still fighting for my life and still fighting to be my healthiest and best self. And I don't ever want to give this false narrative of me being like a keto queen and I'm a weight loss queen and I know everything about weight loss. I struggle every single day, you guys. I struggle with food, I struggle with self love and all those things and a lot of you guys do too and I know a lot of you get it. And um, I this don't let the tears make you think that I'm like in a bad place like my life is amazing right now I am the happiest I've ever been and I think because I'm so happy. I'm like food <laughs> I'm sad food. So it's just like, you know really trying to find a balance I will be doing weight loss videos periodically on this channel money in grocery hauls and what I eat in a days and stuff like that um, if you did not come here for this, that that's okay too. I'm going to obviously have Ella content, and autism, lifestyle, but my main purpose for starting this channel was to always just be honest with you guys, and I just have to tell you where I'm at, how I'm feeling, some resources I was looking into, and I'm still chugging along. I will never give up. I will never gain all of my weight back. That I do know because I'm so self-aware. I weigh myself every day every day and I've actually read scientifically it's good for you to weigh yourself every day just because you kind of you tend not to do as bad when you know how much you weigh when I step away from the scale for longer than a few days bad things happen so um I am really trying and I'm doing well right now and I will continue to have a positive mindset and try and motivate you guys but more than anything I want you to know that I am human and I struggle and it's okay if you struggle, it's okay if you fall down a, f a thousand billion times. Stand up every time. You strap up, you got this, you're good. We're fine, we're good. Positive mindset, Lauren, like I'm telling myself, I have to be positive. But I did wanna give you guys a little update and I will be doing what I eat in a day and you guys will see that on Wednesdays. Whoa, on Wednesdays. Um, just a little update on, your, on my channel and uploading schedule. I am doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, Mondays, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing yet for content. It's probably like a weekend vlog type of deal. Wednesdays are going to be what I eat Wednesdays. And then Fridays, I'm going to do like an autism or something to do with Ella. And then on Sundays, I added another day of upload. It's going to be my Sunday shorts. So you can either see my Sunday Snapchats or uh, bloopers from the week or whatever. But I'm getting... Everything is starting to work itself out and I had to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> A fat joke, Lauren, that's not funny, is it? Mm, too soon, maybe. But I just wanted to like let you guys know where I'm at and let you know that I'm still fully cheering you guys on. I am still always giving it my best shot and I just wanted to like fill you guys in and give you an update. I hope you guys like these videos. <laughs> that sounds weird. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. We're almost to a year here on YouTube. A lot of you guys have been here from the very beginning and I am so, so, so grateful for you. And until we talk again, um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all those places. I be, go, I, be, I be going live. What the heck? I go live on all of my social medias pretty often. Um, if you want to connect better there one on one, make sure you guys follow me there and I will see you in the next video. Bye friends. I'm an emotional wreck.